Over the last few years, GPU prices have skyrocketed because of the increased demand because of the COVID-19 pandemic and everyone working from home and because of the incredible volatility of the Ethereum cryptocurrency and the, its mineability on hardware like this. In recent weeks, the prices have started to come down and because of that, I decided to pull the trigger on the XC3 Ultra Gaming EVGA 3080 Ti. And we're about to unbox this. So because I'm gaming on a Windows VM on top of Linux and not on bare metal, I can't simply pull out my old graphics card and put this one in its place. Because of the way it works on Linux, I'm actually going to have to do some preparations to my PC before we can actually install the card. So the way that I currently have the PC set up is I have a 980 here and a 1050 Ti here. The 1050 Ti is what it boots from. I go into the BIOS and I tell the board, hey, uh, don't use the first slot. Go ahead and use the second slot to display the host graphics. And so when GNU slash Linux comes up, specifically Debian, uh, it uses this and, and then also in the BIOS. So if you if you tried to get into the BIOS, you could because it would the board would automatically assume that this is a has got a graphical controller on it. So what I need to do is uh, I'm going to try to move the 980 down to this slot and then I'll put the 3080 Ti in this reinforced slot which has more PCI lanes. Now there's a problem with just trying to do this without the prep work and that is has to do with the 980 having a VFIO driver taking it over. So if I move the card down and go ahead and install the new one, this card is being basically blacklisted from being in use on my machine um, because what I'm telling it is I'm saying, hey, 980, I'm not going to use you. Instead, I'm going to pass you into a virtual machine later so don't try to utilize it on the Debian host. Uh, I need to disable this, and once I have verified that, I can then move the GPU down and, and go on to actually installing my new graphics card. So what I'll do is I just need to edit the default grub file and it's got these IDs listed. The, you know, this one here is the first one, and then this one here is the second one. And this is the uh, video and audio controller on the 980. Um, the reason I have to actually pass both of them through is because of IOMMU groups, which I should put that through a pager. Um, I think it was 25. Yeah, so group 25 has the 980 and the audio, the video and audio controller on the 980 passed through as the entire group. Um, and this is just the memory isolation. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy this line. We'll comment that out and I'll actually remove this flag here. And then we'll update grub. Probably need to pseudo that. And on a reboot, the NVIDIA driver should take over on the 980. So just rebooted the machine and let's see what we got. LSPC, LSPCI, and then GTX 980. And we've got the correct drivers in use. So now this card's ready to be moved and we can go ahead and shut her down and install the card.
<laughs> buddy. So it booted. Um, let's see if we can see all the hardware now. Um, LS CPI is not the command. We need that PCI. All right, GTX 980 currently in use, which it <laughs> definitely would not have been had I not made that change earlier. And RTX, no. Uh, where is it? Let's go NVIDIA 980, the controller. It just says, oh, it doesn't actually tell you for some reason. So let's just do this. We'll do we'll grip for NVIDIA. Yeah, so this is this is it. It clearly sees it. A little, uh, kind of, I don't know, like, I, I liked this. I liked that it gave me more details about the device. Of course, you could look up these numbers, but whatever. I'm not going to complain too much, because I already did. All right. So now we just need to edit the grub file to then include VFIO... PCI IDs, and then it's going to be, instead of the 13C0, um, we're going to go this one, and this one. That should be it. When I reboot this, the 980 should be basically ready for, for pass-through. Um, update grub. Beautiful. Now we just need to reboot. All right. So now we can see if it all worked. Video. And yeah. All right. So we've got v VFIO on uh, PCI on both the uh, video and audio controller. And we're ready to actually start doing stuff. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove these ones, uh, you know, A000 and then A001. We've got, you know, yeah, so it's a little different format. That's, that's right. Oh, it's interesting. It looks like that's right. I don't, that, that can't be. Okay, so I know I can keep the controller for sure. This should be... Oh, it's the slot. Okay, so what my theory is that this ID corresponds to to the actual thir uh, 3080 Ti, just that this is actually like a slot number, and so I'm pa I'm kind of just like passing in the slot almost. I don't I don't think that's entirely true. Actually, I I really don't know. But it appears that I'm not going to need to modify this. Oh, God. Would you apply them? No, please don't change that. Gosh. Okay. Yeah, so basically it looks like these numbers actually stay the same. And I should just be able to boot this. Wow, that's easy. So basically anything in slot one, it's just that's what's, gonna, that's what's going through the VM. All right, so I'm not going to see any output here because if you look... I've actually removed like the the virtual, the um, the virtual video controller thing, and it's using it's literally using this PCI slot to, you know, push the the video through the the HDMI and Display ports. So yeah, now I'm actually just gonna remote in because that's easier than starting the screencast on it. So. Windows VM. It's showing up. All right, here we go. <laughs> yeah, boy. All right. The 32 hertz bit here is probably because um, I'm doing this over RDP. So in, in a minute, I'm going to switch over to the actual VM and, and get stuff set up in it. But uh, 16 gigs of RAM, which is this is what I gave the VM. Uh, 
I can increase this because I've got 64 gigs, so I could give it pretty much at least 32 gigs, um, if not more. Uh, I, I, yeah, pretty much. And then the <laughs> 16 core processor, but of course I'm only giving this about I'm splitting the processor about in half, so it's a eight core 16 thread instead of 32 threads. Uh, and then we've got the 3080 Ti. This is a ball in VM. This really is. Now, the, the displays that I'm running this on uh, are obviously not 32 native, um, but would be 60 native uh, on just 1080p. So eh, not great. Like, I, I'm, I'm going to be able to pretty much do max settings on every single thing I come across. Oh, I can't wait to game. I can, I can, I can crank everything up now. Gosh, I'm in a game. So, uh, yeah. All right. So I'm actually on the Windows VM. That is not on RDP. I'm plugged directly into the 3080 Ti with my monitors, and USB and all that is plugged into a particular USB controller on my motherboard that is directly passed through. So one port, it's on the host. One port, it's in Windows on the guest. So, super awesome. Super happy. Um, yeah, so I, I bought Elden Ring. Figured that I would uh, be able to basically max this out since I'm running 60 hertz. Let me check the experience again. Because it should show my native display now. Since I'm not on RDP. Yeah, 60 hertz. 1080p. 16 gigs. You know, it knows what the processor is, even though it's only got about half of it. And then the whole 3080, boy. Here we go. Can you sprint? Yeah, so I know from uh, Assassin's Creed, you can kind of walk onto people. And, uh, Whoa. What happened? Why did it cut in the middle of fighting? Did I die? What? Alright, so that was pretty fun. Um, interesting, for sure. It ran really smooth on the max settings at 1080p, 60 hertz. So, I mean, it doesn't go over 60 frames, so it doesn't really matter. Um, yeah. Pretty good experience so far. Uh, it's very dramatic, so that's, that'll be an interesting game to, to play for sure. Now, I've been playing Odyssey. That's been a lot of fun, so thought I might as well jump on here and finally be able to max this out since this is something I'll actually be able to notice the difference with a little bit. Because, um, I mean, there was definitely some stutter. There was definitely, like, even on, like, high settings, it was, my, my GPU was basically maxed out the entire time. Let's let's see what performance is actually like here. Um, let's see. So I don't know if I can have this stay on top, but I mean, it was it pushes it. It's not nothing. Um, it's not using a ton of GPU, you know, memory, memory, uh, but yeah, and it's definitely better than what I was doing before, so. 